Hello, my name is Darren Thomas and I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this video, we're going to learn about three different commands that are commonly used in SQL. And those are the distinct, group by, and the having commands as they are found in SQL. So let's go ahead and see what we can learn. So right here, we're inside our database manager, our software, dBeaver. And so the first thing we're going to learn about is the distinct command. Now, the purpose of the distinct command is to show you within one column the values that are distinct or unique. In other words, they only show you each data point one time. Now, let me see if I can make this clear for you. So I'm going to select POS. I'm, oh, sorry. I'm using... I'm using the data, data set that, uh, f that I found off of Kaggle, uh, NBA uh, season stats. And so I want to know, okay, show me all the different positions, you know, guard, shooting guard, forward, etc. So to do that, I use season stats like this, press control enter. And you can see I got every position for every single player. So obviously there's lots of duplicates here. Like many times you see several centers, several small forwards, etc. If I insert the distinct command, what happens is that I only get one of each position. So watch what I do here. I go to line one and in front of this, I put distinct like so press control enter. And now I only have each position one time. So of course I have, you know, guard forward, shooting guard, you know, small forward, etc. All these things are here, like so. Um, and you can see I have several combo positions where some player played more than one position. That's how you would do this. So the distinct allows you to find unique uh, values inside a particular column. In this particular situation, we are dealing with categorical data. So point guard, forward, etc. Data relating to text or qualitative values. But of course, you can also do this for quantitative or continuous data, although that would be a little bit more unusual. Now, we're going to build on this, what we already have right here, and we're going to use something called the group by. The group by allows you to sort data within a column by a, a categorical um, um, filter, if you will. So now let's say I want to know how many guards, how many forwards, how many centers do I have inside this data set? So what I need to do is I need to make some small modifications to the code that you can see right here on the screen. So I'm going to put a comma right here after, after POS. POS is the name of my column. I'm going to type count. I want them to count all the different positions inside this. And after the from, I'm going to use my new command group by. And I'm going to group this by position, whoa, like so. And then I want to order it. So in other words, whichever position has the most players assigned to it, I want that at the top. And then I want it to go in descending order from there. So I use order by, and then I'm just going to put in count again. This is not the most efficient way, but this does work. And then after that, I'm going to put in the DS descend command. Now, when I press control enter, now you can see here that I have each position and I also have how many players are playing that position in this database. So you can see right here that uh, I have power forward. There's about almost 5,000 of them. Shooting guard, there's 4,800. Center, there's about 4,700, et cetera, all the way down. And again, for the combo players, the, the players who play more than one position, you can see there's not too many of those, not too many in this particular uh, database. Now, so we've learned about the distinct command, which gives you unique values. And we've just learned about how to use the group by, uh, which allows you to filter things by a particular category within a column or within a variable, if you will. Now, what we want to do next is, is we want to uh, filter this. In other words, let's say I only want to know about positions that have more than 4,000 people or 4,000 players. Now we already know the answer to that is, you know, right here. You can see it because I sorted the data. So it's going to be these top five right here. Now, again, normally when we want to filter things, we use the where command. However, 
The WHERE command does not work with aggregated data. It doesn't work for that. In those type of situations, we, we need to use the HAVING command. But let me show you what I'm talking about. Normally, we would do something like this. So I have SELECT, DISTINCT, then I have COUNT, and then FROM the SEASON STAT uh, database or so. And then after that, I will put this, WHERE, COUNT, POS is the column I'm looking at, is greater than or equal to 4,000. That's what I want. Group by position and then descend. I can actually delete some of this. Let me do that. I can delete. I'll just leave it there. So I just press control enter and you can see I get the error message because the where command is not used in the context of aggregation. We've been doing aggregation this whole video right now. So I need to make some adjustments to my code. So the where command is not appropriate. I need to remove that. And so I'm still going to do group by. I'm going to put a little space right here and I'm going to add the having command. And now I'm going to do the same thing I was just doing with the where command, but I'm just using the, the having command. That's it. <laughs> That's the only difference. Put that in 4000. And now you can see I have my results. Now before I had all 20 different positions that were in this database. Now I only have positions where there was 4,000 or more players um, who played that position. And so this is the difference. So you have to remember that in order to be successful with SQL in this context, you must use the having command when you want to filter things. If you're not trying to aggregate data, it is probably more appropriate or possible to use the where command. But that's a difference in this particular situation. So let me summarize what we talked about and then we will conclude this video. So in this video, we learned about more commands related to aggregation. We learned about the distinct command, which allows you to find you know, the one instance of you know, several examples, if you will. So instead of getting all the data in all the positions of every player, just getting one representative example of that position. We also learned about the group by clause which allows you to group things by a particular qualitative feature normally so that you can kind of aggregate your data. So in our example, we were trying to count how many basketball players played a position and we wanted to know how many uh, players were playing at each position. And so we were using the group by found right here in this line right here. And then the last piece of, or excuse me, the last command that we learned about in this example was the having command which is used to filter data when you are aggregating data. If you're not aggregating data, like I already mentioned, you can choose to use the WHERE clause. But for our purposes, if you're aggregating, you need to probably use the having command in most situations. So my name is Darren Thomas. I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. Thank you for watching and take care.